<laughs> Hello kiddo, Sir E is here and today we're going to talk about elements. Let's start with an overview of this chapter or unit and it's all about matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. What are the examples of matter? Some of the examples of matter are the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, even our body. It is an example of matter. As long as it occupies space or it has volume, and it has mass. Matter can be classified as pure substance and mixture. Pure substance can be further divided to elements and compounds. Mixture can also be divided into two homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture but for this lesson we're going to focus on elements what is an element element is defined or described as the simplest form of a substance ito ang pinaka maliit nyo ng isang substance since it is the simplest form, it cannot be broken down into smaller substances using simple chemical reaction. Ibig sabihin, hindi na ito pwede pang mapaliit. However, there is an exemption. Whenever we use nuclear processes, but this is only applicable for those elements that are very big in structure so they can still be break down into smaller elements but you will further learn about this in higher chemistry or physics for us to be aware of different elements that are existing around us we use a tool and this is the periodic table of elements it is a tool that helps us to analyze the properties and characteristics of all the elements. With this, we can easily understand their behavior and also we could have an idea of the possible use of them. At ano nga ba ang itsura ng periodic table of elements? Parang ganito. So far, we got 118 elements in the periodic table. And you need to be aware of the concept that each atom of every element has a unique number of protons. What do we mean by protons? Kung natatandaan natin, an atom has three subatomic particles. The proton, neutrons and electron. Ang proton ay ang subatomic particle na may positive charge and this can be found inside the nucleus or in the central area of an atom. Ibig sabihin, bawat element ay may kanya-kanyang number ng protons. The number of protons of each element is described as or also called as atomic number. May kita natin ang atomic number sa periodic table of elements. For example, we have oxygen. Oxygen's atomic number is 8. It only means that Oxygen has how many protons? Tama kayo. It has 8 protons. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng atom ng element na oxygen, they have 8 protons. 
Kaya naman, tatandaan, each element has a unique number of protons or atomic number. At ang element sa periodic table ay naka-arrange according to increasing atomic number. Ibig sabihin, ang unang element sa periodic table, which is hydrogen, has an atomic number of 1. Therefore, the number of protons present in hydrogen is just 1. How do we classify elements? We classify elements based on their properties. And when we classify them based on their properties, we got three groups or divisions. And these are metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Let us check the periodic table to see this classification. Using this table, the green ones are the non-metals, the blue ones are the metal, and the purple are the metalloids. Metals are commonly found on the left side of the periodic table, except for the first element, which is the hydrogen. Because hydrogen is a nonmetal. Then the rest of the nonmetals, they are found on the right side of the periodic table. For metalloids, they have properties that are intermediate between metals and non-metals. And we only have seven elements under metalloids. On the next slides, we will discuss their properties. Metals have the following properties. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. When we say good conductors, it means that the heat and electricity can easily pass through them. Kaya naman, metals ang ginagamit natin sa mga kasangkapan or gamit natin sa pagluluto. Ganon din yung mga electrical wires. Metals are ductile and malleable. When we say ductile, it means that it can be turned into wires. That's why those wires that we have in our appliances or even in electricity, they are made up of metals because they can be turned into wires. And that is ductile or ductility. While malleability or when we say malleable, it can be turned into thin sheets. Examples of this are the jewelries like this one. Or sometimes the metals that are used in our gadgets like cell phones, laptop, and even appliances. They are flattened. And so it is malleable. Ductile wires. Malleable thin sheets or can be flattened and most of the metals are shiny. Non-metals have the following properties. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Ibig sabihin, hindi mabilis na nakakadaan ang heat or ang electricity sa kanila. Therefore, non-metals are described as good insulator. Solid non-metals are brittle and soft. Kaya naman, mabilis silang madurog o masira. Non-metals are commonly dull. So, hindi sila nagre-reflect ng light or hindi sila shiny by nature. And lastly, most of our non-metals are in the form of gases. Lastly, metalloids. Tulad ng sabi ko, metalloids have properties of both metals and non-metal. They are the threshold or intermediate 
Commonly, metalloids are described as semiconductors and they are used in different appliances and most especially gadgets. And it's trivia time! Let us try to answer the following questions about the elements. Question number one. What is the first man-made element? Ang tamang sagot, technetium with a chemical symbol of TC. The elements in the periodic table are classified as natural or man-made. Pag sinabi natin natural, they can be found here in the earth. While man-made, it is laboratory made or designed. And technetium is the first man-made element. By the way, when we write the chemical symbol of an element having two letters, we have to write it this way. The first letter should always be capitalized, while the second letter should be, that's right, lowercase. Tatandaan niya na, trivia question number two. What element is named after Germany? Hmm. All right. The answer is germanium. Or it has a chemical symbol of GE. Some of the elements are named after the place where they were found or sometimes the place where their discoverer are dwelling or living. And one of the examples of this is germanium. The discoverer of germanium is actually living in Germany. And so it is named after Germany. Trivia number three. What element is named after Albert Einstein? Hmm. Siyempre, dapat katunog din ng Einstein. And that is Einsteinium. Some elements in the periodic table are named after a person. It's either the discoverer of that element or sometimes it is a tribute for the work or contribution done by a certain scientist in the field of science. Trivia number four. What element is the most abundant in Earth's crust? Hmm, ano nga bang pinakamadami dito sa crust? Hmm. The correct answer is oxygen. Aside from the idea that we inhale oxygen for us to live, this element can also be found in the Earth's crust. Because the Earth's crust is commonly made up of silicon oxide. So my oxide, my oxygen. We will learn further on that in the next few lessons. Trivia number five. What element is the most abundant in the universe? Hmm, ano kaya? The correct answer is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table. And in the universe, most of our stars are made up of, that's right, hydrogen. And could you imagine how big a star is? Parang sun natin. Ganun siya kalaki. So, ibig sabihin, sobrang daming hydrogen na present doon. That's why it is the most abundant element in the whole universe. For this lesson, we have to remember the following key concepts. Elements are the simplest form of matter, which cannot be broken down into simpler form. Second, the atom of each element has unique number of protons. And lastly, the elements in the periodic table can be classified as metal, 
non-metal, and metalloid. And this is based on their properties. And that's it. We are done with our lesson. Once more, thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you again in my next Teach Vlog. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>